I have some dear and suffering souls among my subscribers. This is one of them, JY. She says, I wish I could get in touch with you. How do I do that? I will be 90 years old next February. Have lived through so much. I have written a lot. I need a reader before it's too late. Or have I another 30 years? You can read the rest of this thread under the video SSPX. The world is becoming a universal Sodom and Gomorrah. She's in a nursing home and uh, she's been on put on lithium for five years at a time. And anyway, she needs a reader for this meditation, and so I'm going to go ahead and read it here for her and share it with my wonderful subscribers and anyone else who might appreciate it. JY, you are in our prayers, and we beg you to pray for us if you should make it to the next life ahead of us. She says, this is the first draft of a meditation I wrote when I was given the rosary beads that belonged to George McKay Brown in 2003. He was the Bard of Orkney. I edit a bit every time I read it, so thank you for offering to read something. She clarifies below that the strikethroughs of uh, certain phrases are not intentional. I now present to you, friends, J.Y.'s Meditation. Here sown within a virgin's loving womb, the seed that would in time end in the tomb, the Son of God would be by angel told, the sacrificial lamb from out the fold. In agony that many will refuse to save their souls, so many freely choose, to spurn his body risen from the dead, with glory mystical he at its head. For now he lives no more to die, our search for answers were once found within his church, but if it worships man, not God, our days are lost forever in a moral maze. The generous time, the journey over hills, the cousins meet as life within them thrills, support and love between one young, one old, with recognition of their glory told. John's harshest life within the desert spent proclaims his Lord who will, by scourges rent, take on his back the anger due to man, his father's justice, purity of plan, to save the many who do not deserve their father's love, but truly try to serve. Those who on this sad day on are left, and are of his glad presence now bereft, save for the lamp that in some church still burns, the paschal candle snuffed till he returns, to mark the bread and chalice of his life, his body ours, the cure for Adam's strife. Creator spirit now can body own, of Mary, she of Adam's flesh and bone, the tiny child of Bethlehem, our God, incarnate, promised flower of Jesse's rod, the child foretold who will be mankind's king, as high hosannas Hebrew children sing, by Pilate crowned and ratified in Rome, his kingship recognized in every home, where families accept the Holy Ghost, where church he founded is their greatest boast, by universal holy framework bound, and apostolic unity is found. And so the sword that Mary's heart did pierce, as warned by Simeon to be so fierce, has caused for every man his rise or fall, his supernatural destiny or gall, which each man freely chooses as his lot, to be Our Lady's child, or be forgot, to carry with our Lord the cross he bore, or choose the fate the devil has in store. As she alone did not deserve to die, and to her destiny intact could fly, so we, her children, can, with grace, take wings to offer up the pain that each day brings. Three days of loss she sought her son most dear, three days of mortal agony severe, but then to her obedience he gave, obedience that then led to his grave. Identity revealed water to wine, he at her word his death warrant did sign. Three years to choose his friends, three years he taught, God's will before he let himself be caught. Three hours beside him lifted on the cross, and once again she knew three days of loss. 
Thus he who conquered death for us did win the right for puny man's forgiven sin, to be forgiven by the Trinity, and through his mother share a unity with all created beings who obey their father's word, and who shall ever say that she is heaven's queen who once on earth the holy child of Nazareth gave birth. Oh dear, J.Y., wonderful. What can I say other than wonderful? And I'm sure that my subscribers, who are among the highest quality of subscribers one could have, I'm sure they agree with me. And I'm sure they join me in asking God to pour his blessings and grace upon you abundantly. And in asking you if you reach the next life before we do, please pray for us then as we pray for you now.